You're not supposed to do this. What's up guys? Guess what just arrived in my post box? It is the Xochna or Kochna Airs of Forta. I can't pronounce the brand. Link will be in the video description. Now this thing is supposed to shoot those projectiles here, the balloons, up to 140 meters. Now obviously they use the balloons so you can't hurt anybody in an airsoft game, but it's not an airsoft game today, so I can shoot whatever fits into this cartridge. So I'm gonna shoot some smoke grenades, onions. Yeah, let's just get started. Uh, let's have a look at the manual. Doesn't look too difficult. Step one is use the screwdriver that's included. You reset the valve, you fill that thing. Uh, there we go. Then we put water into this cup, which they also include. And the water is supposed to spread the pressure on the projectile so when it accelerates that it doesn't explode. Ready? Going hot. <laughs> Fuck, this thing. Yeah, it shot. It worked. It actually bent this piece here a little bit. But as you can see, it accelerated so hard that this thing gets bent. Uh, but it should still work. The water balloon exploded in mid-air because the acceleration was too hard, obviously. Uh, probably the balloon, the first one, was filled too much. So I have a smaller one right here. Now, I don't want to do this in a stress situation. I think it's way harder than a real mortar because in the real mortar you basically just drop the bomb into the barrel and that's it. Okay, small water balloon. Uh, let's record it down the barrel so we can see how it shoots. Yeah, again, it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> I guess this little metal piece couldn't handle the power. It's supposed to stop those two pipes from separation. All right, it's working again. Just let it out. Uh, yeah, quick feedback to Kshokshna. That's not the best design right there. You should change it. I'm curious how much further the mortar can actually shoot than I can shoot by hand. So we have two smoke grenades and we're gonna find out the difference. So back there, you can see how far it went. Let's measure it real quick. 67 meters. Let's see how far I can do it. Yeah, I'm not the, the best hand baller, I guess. Let's see how far that one is. I did 30 meters, so the Soxna mods I can do at least twice the distance and even a little bit more. Alright, now we're gonna try how far we can shoot with the mortar. So, therefore we're gonna use this projector, this onion, which seals quite good in here. And we're also gonna do the perfect angle, which is from my knowledge, 38.5 degrees. And I know a lot of people will say, no, no, it's 45 degrees. It's an endless discussion. I think it's 38.5. So, the perfect amount of water. Morning goes inside. Oh, it's so perfect. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay, we saw the impact. Let's find the onion and then measure back so we can confirm the distance. By the way, if you're an airsoft company, and you have stuff like this, like super exciting airsoft products, send it to me, I want to test them. Oh, I think it's, it's right over there. All right, 103 meters, so that's the actual one. Cool product, 103 meters. Quality-wise, I mean it is, it's a pipe basically, there is not much to say about that. But the inside of it, you can tell it's of good quality, it's like leased from one piece of plastic. So 
that's good right there. I think it's gonna last for quite a bit. Personally, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't need it as an airsoft player, even though it's a nice gimmick. But if I would be, you know, an event manager of a milsim, I think I would bring one, you know, just to make a mission out of it, where some people have to go to some specific coordinates that are mortars, and maybe they have to shoot a building or something like this. Just adds to games, just makes it a little bit more exciting. So it's a cool product. Thanks to Soxner for sending it and for developing something like this. Uh, again, if you're an airsoft company and you want your stuff seeing tested on this channel, send it to me.